Ladies and gentlemen and video game designers, we're going to do discussion number one for the platform jumper. So we should be done with lesson five. You should have taken the pre-practice and real test. <coughs> and now we're going to go to the platform jumper for chapter five. So what should we be doing? Missing work first. Um, then do the new assignments. So obviously do this discussion, answer the questions, it's worth, it's worth points. And then we're, we're going to start, jump back to the platform jumper. So where we should be at is platform jumper five, but you are going to work from wherever you left off. All right, so let's take a, a peek at this. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek here. Okay, so if you go into Canvas, there's going to be a module called platform jumper, and we're going to have all the instructions for platform jumper one, two, three, four, five, and then the final. So you're basically going to work from wherever you left off. I am going to give you the spiel based on five because that's where we should be, but it's going to be kind of the same for wherever you're at. You're just going to go in and you're going to um, look at the instructions and do what it says. So if I open this up, you can see that um, there's a scoring guide. Here's all the spiels and so on and so forth. Speaking of scoring guide, here's what you're supposed to do. Um, you're going to use the concept of extraction to make um, platforms that are different. So some are going to look one way and some are going to look the other. Um, you're going to add, use a loop to add one set of platforms and one set of the other kind of platforms. I put dirt and metal if you want. Um, you're going to have one enemy class that can create instances that, that with two different looking enemies. Uh, make it so when you touch the key, you do, by the way, this is for me, this is how I did it, you, so you can be kind of creative on how you're going to do it, but when you touch the key, all the monsters come uh, come after you, so you're going to use an array and a loop, all right, and then finally, you have a message that says the points, all right, let's take a look and see what this looks like, all right, so when I jump on this guy's head, when I jump on this guy's head, you're going to see a message, okay, the other piece is you're going to see the same thing when I get the coin. Okay, so, notice, so notice over here, for the enemies, I have one kind of monster, right? But yet, I use the concept of abstraction that I have two different looking ones, right? So let me go grab the, the key and let me show you what happens. So you grab the key and you, you use a loop and array. Notice that these guys, let me hit pause. Ah! So notice that these guys look at from different from these guys. These guys' bullets look different. The sound looks different, but that's all coming from the same. Um, that's all coming from the same class using the concept of abstraction. Okay, so that's kind of the idea of what we're doing. Um, let's keep going here. Okay. Um, so ba so the deal is this though. Uh, th this probably occurred to you that you're going to need the files that you already started with. So you're going to have to tell me the name of the folder, where I can find it, and what email I can send it to. Okay, And that's going to be part of the discussion. Um, OK, um, how are you going to turn in this assignment? There are two ways. You can take a video of yourself going through the scoring guide and the assignment, showing me the code, showing me what it does. Um, or you could send me a copy of the project through Canvas. Let's take a look at the let's finish up by going through at looking at the discussion. Um, so when you go into the discussion for the chapter, what's the next assignment? What when is it due? How are you going to turn it in? What has been your highlight of the last week? Okay, now let's get to this part. What is the name of the folder in which I can find your platform jumper project? Where is that folder? What email address did I send it to? That's going to be part of the uh, the discussion. So once I get this thing, I will try to. Um, I'll rifle through your files, and I will find this and send it to you. All right, that's it for this week. Um, and just as a kind of a reminder, this is a two-week assignment. Okay, so I'll send you. A, I'll basically send you the same thing at the beginning of next week because it's going to take. I feel like two weeks is a good amount of time to do this. Now, if you started, if you're not on chapter five, what I want you to do is do chapter two, three, four, whatever it is. Send me your progress. I'll grade that, too, and I'll count that towards you as well because um, I do want you to succeed and have a good grade. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys.